you know what comes next. Wah! Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I am Amalgamash, and this is Hero Quest. Just Hero Quest. Uh, this is an interpretation of the tabletop role playing game. It's more of a tabletop dungeon crawler. Created by Lurch Brick, it is an isometric video game version of the game. I've been playing it quite a bit the last several weeks, and we are now at quest eight, nine. It's a race against time. And I see GA in the chat. Welcome, GA. Clint Gibson, good morning. David DuPont, welcome. How are you? Nice to have you all here. Uh, we have... Why is the wizard's name Bardock? Why would the wizard's name be Bardock? Oh, wizard didn't die. Elf died. That's right. Pickle died. So. Nice, you can call me David. David, nice to meet you. Uh, this is fine. This is as expected. Right, crossbow, shield, helmet, too. Yeah, everybody's kitted. We are ready to go to the next quest. So. Here we go. I'm going to shrink myself down. Whee! Oh, I've got, I've got filter issues. Hold on a second. I don't know what's going on with my lighting here. Ah, that did not help anything. This must needs be addressed first. Just is how it is. I could have sworn there was a way to do this the way that I wanted. Ugh. Ah, there we go. Hold on. Getting there, getting there is something I need to do a little bit more often. I guess that's going to have to be good enough. Just to say your pronunciation of my full name is good, but make it simple. Of course. All right. And thank you for that. Now we're ready. Technical difficulties, that's all. We will begin our quest. <clears throat> quest 9, Race Against Time. A guide has led you into an underground maze that is rumored to hold a great secret. He has led you down many dark corridors, and finally you find yourself in a room with three doors. Suddenly the guide puts out his torch, and in the darkness you hear him laugh. Farewell, my heroes, he sneers as he makes his escape. You realize to your horror that it is a trap. You must escape, make it back to the stairway, or perish in this dark, forgotten hole. I love it. All right, we've got the Barbarian, who is Stab George. 
We've got the dwarf who is happy sneezy, and we've got the wizard who is Bardock. We need a name for our elf. This is a new elf. Pickle. Pickle. I'm still not over him. <laughs> he passed the last dungeon. Pickle did. Uh, he finally... He finally got crunched. Fry. Fry. That's what we're going with. Fry the elf. Okay. Why not? Sure. Yeah, that's an elvish name. Okay. We need a last name. If anybody wants to come up with a last name to Clint's Fry. Just to make it more elvish, more magical, more fey, more heroic. Cheers, by the way. <clears throat> While you're all locked in combat that ends in death. I'm gonna transition real quick to show you my cup. Of course the green screen effect, the chroma key is taking out all the green, but like it's a fantasy adventure cup. This is actually my wife's. She ordered this and I really wanted to drink more coffee today. So I decided to borrow this mug. It's a huge mug. It's easily 14 ounces. So a little bit of extra coffee today. Thank you, lovely wife, for unknowingly letting me borrow your cup. Clint is emotionally attached now. Don't kill him. Don't kill Fry. Well, I don't think anybody's got a name, uh, a last name. Fry me to the moon. I'll be right back. I'm going to look up how to... I'm going to Google how to ban somebody. Fry moon. It will be fry moon. You must enter the name of your hero to proceed. I know that. I did it. I'm the best one. I did it. All right. For the wizard, we we want heal body. For the elf, we want water of healing. Oops. Wary of Race against time. We've got to get out of here, guys. We've got to get out of here. All right, this is one of the most exciting intros to a hero quest quest ever. Open the door. Ah, you're toast. You're done. You're done. You're you're getting you're getting it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You need to equip the crossbow. You need to equip the toolkit. You need to equip the helmet. And you need to equip the shield. And now there goes the orc. The orc is done for. Let's see here. Dwarf? Get in there. There goes the goblin. Barbarian, right here, please. Gil. There we go. We destroy. We destroyed everybody in that room. Hmm. Bardock hasn't done anything yet. Perhaps Bardock will search this room for treasure. Ah, good, a familiar. Well, we'll end our turn here regardless. By the way, does anybody need to equip anything? Do you need to equip anything? No. You? You're good. You? He's got the long sword, the helmet, shield. Equip the toolkit, please. Oh, he's not... He's not allowed to equip the toolkit. Uh, you know what? Everybody says equip toolkit as if as if they don't have it equipped, but I bet you 
the effects are the same, which means I sold the wizard's toolkit for no reason. Ah, uh, God. Lurch Brick, I must request you update that. Nice try, Famir. Famir. Mafar. I'm gonna get you, though. Oh, you went down. Barbarian, would you like to search for treasure? I'm feeling daring. You found 25 gold coins. Happy, would you like to search for treasure? Perhaps you would like to... search here. We found a potion of defense. That was worth it. All right, we can end our turn now. Sneezy, open the door. Orc. Orc, orc, orc. Kill the orcs. Ah, that did not work. Wizard, go ahead and cast Fall of Flame. That'll do. That'll make up for the one that I didn't get. You, shoot the orc with crossbow. Very good. Barbarian? Oh, the barbarian can't reach the next orc. Dang it. We have to end our turn and let the orc attack us. Well, you're done. Very good. All right. Stab George. Search this room for treasure. Search for traps, actually. That would be the smart thing to do. No? Uh, you. Can you search this room for traps, please? I didn't think there were any, but... There's a secret door there. We'll end our turn this way. Pickle, open that last door. Murder the orc inside. Dang it. That's okay. Barbarian, go in there. Go ahead. You know what to do. You can soak up the damage. It's going to be fine. Uh, yeah, that's literally all I can all I can do. That's all I can do for now. Wizard. Let's get that wizard into action. That wizard's not seen any good action yet. Let's attack a goblin. That was horrible. That was absolutely horrible, wizard. We'll end our turn this way. Giles McNeil, good morning from the Midwestern U.S., and thank you for joining us. It's a pleasure and a privilege to have you, sir. It's going well. We just started. We just started this quest and uh, cleared out the rooms just as, just as soon as we entered them. Ah, oh, wizard. All right, that does it for you, Pickle. Actually, Dwarf, get in there. Murderize that last goblin. Good. Pickle, get in there, search for traps. None. And turn. Wizard, search for secret doors. None. Barbarian, search for treasure. A potion of healing. Wow. I have so many potions of healing now. Why does it say that I only have a heroic brew? Who did I just... Hold on a second. Was it Happy Sneezy? No. What, I'm not allowed to have that many potions or what? Yeah, it's not in his, his list of potions. Unless I just picked up the heroic brew. I thought I just poked it, picked up a potion of healing. Maybe that was the wizard. It somehow, it somehow got to the wizard. He has three healing potions and a heroic brew. Yeah, that's not normal. He actually needs. Did it use it automatically? No, I don't think so. It, it's possible that it did, but I would not have seen any change because we're all at full health still. Good afternoon from Her Most Britannic Majesty's United Kingdom, now under new management. <laughs> uh, excellent. All right, let's search for traps. None. That's good news. Let's search for secret doors. That's fine. Let's get out there. Time we saw some action. And thusly, we have formed... 
the phallic shape of dungeon exploration. I need to turn this down just a teens. That is perfect. That is fantastic. No volume change for you guys unless you tell me. Whoops, sorry about that. And we can end the turn. Ah, the guide must have stolen the potions, yes. There's only one explanation. The guide is still here. An orc. I'm going to carelessly walk up to him and take him out. That was very satisfying. Bardock, what's down here? Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of of a mind to search the outer perimeter. But I think I'll stick to conquering the rooms. If I find the staircase, I'll go back and um, definitely check out the rest of the rooms. Ah, ooh, a chaotic warrior. I like that. You know what? I'm going to get right up in there and we're going to take him out. That's the stuff. That is amazing. Fly Moon, your turn. Uh, I can't see the Chaos Warrior from here, so let's take out the Goblin. Happy Sneezy? Oh, fantastic. That dwarf rolled great. And down goes the Chaos Warrior. Happy Sneezy is doing Kyle justice. Kyle being the, uh, the dwarf before last. Was he the, was he the dwarf before last, or was he the last dwarf? None of these people are, are the originals who came into the trial from the beginning. That is the sad truth of it. Wizard? The wizard killed a goblin! Yeah! Go, wizard! <laughs> uh, we've got a new prime minister, which meant thrillingly. Yesterday, our country was actually 100% run by the queen. A full-on, 100% all-powerful, dictator-style monarch. Nice. <laughs> Hi, David. We're a little less European in the UK since Brexit. I want my EU citizenship back. Well, this is a little political. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. That It seems lighthearted enough. I don't think it's going to trigger anybody. It's it's fine. I'll defend it. It's, uh, talking about US politics is where things get really ugly and out of hand. That's, that's something I'd prefer to keep out if possible. But you're perfectly all right expressing your preference. Uh, to have your EU citizenship back. I, okay, cast sleep on the Femir, please. Good, well done. We just have one Femir that can attack us now. And you missed because the Barbarian has a ridiculous amount of defense. Just a dummy thick amount of defense. Just a stupid amount of defense. All right, he's taken out. This Vermeer is now in the line of sight of the dwarf, or the elf, rather. Wow. Don't tell them that I got them confused. Uh, the wizard won't die. We'll go ahead and cast Fire of Wrath on that Vermeer and take him out. I love it. End our turn. I feel like such a tank right now. Open that up. Step inside and search for traps. No traps. Wizard, go inside and search for treasure. He found a potion of healing. We are still at full health. This has been the most successful quest I have ever ran. Dwarf, go in and search for secret doors. No, pickle, fly, moon. Oh my god, I called him pickle. Oh my god. Everyone is fine to express a preference, so long as they are tolerant enough to accept that other people may have a different preference, and that's okay too. Yes. Absolutely agreed. Preferences are fine. Has it gone into his inventory? Let's find out. Now, the wizard does not have potions at all. And... What is happening? His potions are all gone. Let's see if uh, see if they come back once I select him. 
No, they're just gone. Are they starting to just disappear because I haven't been using them? Like, it's not going to let me stockpile them? I think the game... The game was not... prepared for me to stockpile that many potions. I think that's what's really going on here. Search for traps, please. No traps. Elf. Uh, crossbow to the face. Ooh. Didn't really hurt him. Well, this is going to hurt him a lot. Uh, I find it to be a, a bit, a bit, it's not annoying that I, that I haven't been able to keep my potions. It's fine. It's, it's not offensive. I, I'm fine with it. It's a bug. That's for sure. But on principle, it definitely sucks because I might have really, really needed those. I might have been stockpiling them for Keller's Keep. Let's search for treasure in here. Each of these chests contains 100 gold coins. That's fantastic. Dwarf, search for treasure. Oh, we got shot with a hidden arrow. That's okay. We are actually done with this entire quadrant, so we are leaving now. End the turn, and let's journey out of here. Yes, not so much European now, but I'm still French. I've got a lot of acquaintances from from France now. It seems that I I have observed that there are many many game developers and players of old school dungeon crawlers in France. I, for one, I, I salute you. <laughs> Viva la France. Indeed. Ribby, welcome to the stream. I'm glad you made it. Yo, yo, yo back at ya. We'll end our turn here, and then I'm going to pop over into just chatting mode for a second. A toast. Uh-oh. We've got some French thrown down here in the chat. I'm going to attempt to read it, and I'm, I'm going to butcher it. I know this. I know this, but... Il a beaucoup de choses à admirer chez les Français. My... Hmm... My poor mo jamir le vin et le fromage et la cuisine. We are talking about having wine and eggs. <laughs> That's all I gather. A bit late. Doesn't my work know I have streams to watch? I know, Ribby, right? We should all get stream time. We should accumulate stream time as part of our benefits package. Magnifique. I doubt that was aimed at me, but... Ah! Not egg. Cheese. Fromage. Cheese. Fromage is cheese. Ire is egg. For Ash, there are many things to admire about the French, but for me, I admire the wine and the cheese. Oh, and the cuisine. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the translation. That's actually a beautiful quote. And if I can manage to say it correctly... You probably catch me quoting that exact thing at some point. I'm gonna try to get that down and memorize it. There are many things I admire about the French, but for me it is the wine, and you say the cheese. But I haven't had that much French cheese, so I can't say the same thing. Alright, Happy Sneezy is going forth in this dungeon. End our turn. I'm glad that we explored that quadrant. I'm glad that things are working out this way. I like to go through efficiently through dungeons. 
and it doesn't always work out that way, but it is certainly fine that it doesn't end our turn here. I either want the Barbarian, the Dwarf, or the Elf to lead. I don't see any monsters down this hallway. Will I see any traps? No. Fantastic. Boy, we are rocketing through this. Maybe we'll even catch the guy. <laughs> That's not a thing. But I would homebrew it that way. I would definitely alter this quest to where if you act quickly enough, you can catch the guy that left you in here. And you can give him a sound beating. I probably would move him a few spaces every turn on a on the map that I can see behind the board. Behind the, the uh, visor. But if the heroes saw him, I'd put him on the board and then I would have him shout something like, Oh no! And he would just keep running. And then they would know, oh, come back here. Ah! No, I forgot to transition back. Sorry about that. Thank you, Giles, for pointing that out. Not my intention to keep everybody in suspense like that. I need to, uh... Perhaps make that automatically go back after a certain amount of time. So if I forget, it will just go foolproof back to where it was. Ugh. Here's the board. Uh. Up. That works. Work down. As much as we come for the ash, we stay for the hero quest. That's fine. You can come and stay for whatever you like on this crazy amalgamation of a channel. Open the door. Oh, it's a goblin party. Don't be stupid, be a smarty. Come and join the goblin party. Oh, wow. That was a lucky goblin. Uh... That wasn't quite enough. The goblins will now have a turn. Horrible attacks. Horrible attacks from all of you. Crunch. And... Crunch. And... Crunch. That's the end of that. Ah, uh, wizard. Go ahead and follow them in there. Stay together. Stay together. I will look for traps. End my turn. Elf, go ahead. Open this door. Search for secret doors. Not that there would be any ash. Good job wasting your turn. Open that door. There's the staircase. We have made it, uh, but we're going to search for treasure instead. There's 20 gold coins. Dwarf is coming into here, searching for traps first. We will end our turn, and then we will begin exploring the last quadrant slash two quadrants of the board. Oh, <laughs> That's that. Search for secret doors, and there are none. Go in here and search for treasure, because why not? We are doing amazing. There's a Femir. That's fair. That's fine. Let him take a turn. He just tried to slap my barbarian, and nothing came of it. All right, well, he's down, down and out. Wizard's going to search for treasure. Oh, he fell into a pit. A pit that is not going to stay on the board. The dwarf is going to search the stairway room for treasure. And I got a potion of healing. Can I keep that? Now the dwarf has 
two healing potions and a defense potion. And the wizard just has his one healing potion. I don't get it, but I'm just going to... I'm just going to... ignore it. Because we're strong, we're kitted. The ultimate goal of any hero quest player is to become kitted, and we are pretty well kitted. I'm I'm only missing chain mail for one or two people. I'm not gonna worry about plate mail for anybody. We're gonna Yes, I'm aware I can leave the quest game. I don't wanna do that yet. Are you perhaps motoring through this quest because your heroes are so strong? Yes, that's absolutely what it is. At the same time, there's not a lot of really strong enemies here, just a bunch of goblins and orcs mainly. Yes, give me those monsters. Genie. Actually, Tempest. Tempest! No, oh, I tempest him for no reason, we just took him out. We'll end our turn, and everybody will search the stairwell room for treasure now. 15 gold coins. A monster. Excellent. Very good. Ooh. Careful, wizard. Careful, careful. Happy Sneezy hasn't gone yet. Okay, that's good. Ooh. Careful, wizard. Actually, Happy Sneezy. The wizard's got... Like, hold on, who was that? The Happy Sneezy. He's got two healing potions and two defense potions. Uh, Wizard's got one healing potion. I'm going to use that healing potion just so he doesn't die in the next turn to the Femir. Don't ask me why I'm staying just to kill the Femir when I know that I'm not going to get anything from it. Uh, it's, it's a matter of pride and prejudice. Man, he is not going down. I guess the only thing left to do is genie him. There we go. That is it. Great defense roll of the evil wizard player. Yeah, no. Definitely. <sighs> Zargon fought valiantly with the forces that he had. Um, <laughs> that's a lot of dead green skins. That's a lot of dead creatures on the board. I love that their bodies stay. But that is pretty much it. We can now leave the quest. I don't feel like I've really left any too many stones unturned. We even uncovered a few hidden monsters. That was fulfilling. That was nice. Fry Moon, you have no heroic accomplishments. However, you did defeat two Femir, two Goblin, and three Orcs. So you are a welcome member of this hero company. He made 13 attacks, nine of which were successful. One defend, and it was uh, unsuccessful. He searched for secret doors four times, one trap and two treasure. He was, uh, he was pretty thorough, and he did cast one spell, so he, he did a great job. And that is it. So Fry Moon has 200 gold. Oh yeah, Fry Moon has all the gold as well. We have nothing new to buy from the store, and there's nothing that I wish to sell to the store. So we're actually ready to go into the next quest, but I think that the next quest will take longer than half an hour, which means the stream, the quest portion of the stream is over. Because <laughs> I can only stream until 10.30. And it's now 9.57. So, that was a very fast quest. Um, as I said, I think it has a lot to do with all the green skins on the board. Uh, it's nice that they start dropping Femirs as wandering monsters. 
I feel like the difficulty spike, though, starts to do this with this quest. It goes down just a bit, but that's fine with me. That is fine with me. Looks like... David, if you speak French and love HeroQuest, I have a fan made to talk about. That's awesome. Connections are being made in the stream. That is, um, that's one of my goals. Get the communities talking, get people together, get them, uh, get them networking. As for me, I'm going to go to what uh, I typically do after the gameplay is over. And I'm going to drop into my homemade work, my own homemade Hero Quest roleplay system and campaign, and talk just a little bit about what I'm doing here. I might design a little bit of questage. So you're all welcome to stay. I'll be doing that until 10.30 when I have to hop off. So another half hour. Uh, but you're all welcome to stay and just observe whatever you'd like. I'll just be absently talking about this stuff as well. I don't need the headphones. Ooh. And of course, if you'd like to continue chatting away in various languages, <laughs> that's totally fine as well. Whether you are lurking or actively participating in any way, it's fine. Bye for now, Giles. Thanks again for dropping in. I hope you had fun. I'll be streaming again. Monday is the plan. Monday at 9 a.m. CST here. So this exact time, but an hour before. Uh, but tomorrow, I'm, I, I think I'm going to stream tomorrow, but I'm not going to be streaming HeroQuest. I might, 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 might be streaming... Uh, either a solo game of Dungeon Quest, now that I've become much more comfortable playing Dungeon Quest, offline, uh, not offline, obviously, I'll be streaming, I'll be playing it IRL, I'll be playing the physical copy of the board game that I have. And I'll be explaining the rules and such as I go through. I need to make sure that my cameras and all that are set up, uh, get my table set back up like I used to have it. But that's what I would like to do, I think, tomorrow. If not that, I might be playing the Dragon Strike solo quest. Dragon Strike does come with one or two solo quests and rules that facilitate solo play. So that's kind of the plan there. For now, I'm going to take a look at my minis and the things that I need Dan, I, I might play Final Fantasy or World of Warcraft instead. I don't know yet. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to advertise my streams to the um, Hero Quest areas of interest unless it's Hero Quest related. So, so we'll need four snotlings, four night goblins, four black orcs. But I only get one black orc with the FTO2. I'm gonna actually open open that file. Here we go. Okay. Total of Total of two rat ogres, total of one gray seer, total of 12 skaven warriors, total of one skaven pack master. Surprisingly, that's what I decided to go with. Now I'm going to say that doesn't feel quite right because I really wanted trolls on here. Oh, trolls are on here. I'm okay with trolls. 
Um, hobgoblins is another thing I wanted, kind of, because I like the hobgoblins from Dragon Strike, but mainly I like the hobgoblins because I like the bases. The bases for so many of the monsters in Dragon Strike are exactly beveled like the US version of Hero Quest. We'll we'll see. We'll see. The stats, the stats, let's see here. Attributes. Um That's not going to be too difficult, actually. Most of the same monsters are in HQV2, but you use the German color dice. That's what I want to do as well. I want to really utilize those German dice. Um, and I have dice of my own I think I would like to utilize. So the monsters on this side, I'm going to be giving them a color of dice that is equal to their faction. Although... I'm going to change the, the default color of all of the beast characters to orange since they use orange in Mound of the Beastmen, so that faction is actually going to be orange. Something that I thought of that I decided I liked better. That's not quite the color that I want. That's not quite the color either. That'll be fine, I guess. And the Skaven will be more brown. So, Skaven. Boy, you guys don't want, this program does not want me to know what color that stuff is. I guess yellow four is what I need to put down, huh? All right. The gray seer you get, whoops, you get moved. Whoops, <laughs> that's not cool. Come on now. Skaven, Packmaster. Packmaster is the one who's going to be controlling the ogres. So we're going to have brown dice, sort of a teal or cyan dice, purple, navy, yellow, orange, and a dark green. Tom K, you're going to offer some colored dice in the future? I'm going to be making my own. Um, but I'm going to base them off the existing German dice. And I, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven factions total here. So I'm actually going to end up with seven different sets of dice. 
I don't know about offering them. If I had a great way to recreate them, I would I would try to get them distributed. But I don't know how I'm going to even make the ones that I want to use for my game copy, so I'm not sure yet. Also, good morning and welcome to the stream. Uh, so, a couple of problems. We need to put some movement down for these guys. Not really problems, I guess. Just, just yeah, the challenges for me. If you want the stats we use, I can share on Discord. I would be interested to know what the stats you use are, but I'm going to try to... You might have even been doing the same thing. I'm going to try to remix some of the stats that currently exist for the monsters. And then... Uh, so that the skirmish difficulties will be more or less the same. So when you, for example, come across a bunch of monsters, if I'm using, say, these guys instead of these guys, if I'm using the dark green faction instead of the green faction, well, they'll have mainly remixed stats. But their attack is going to be based on the... Um, their attack dice is going to be based on using that faction color of dice. So when you see them, you'll think, okay, they're pretty much going to be sort of the same strength as these guys on the left, the regular green skins. But then when they go to attack, their attack dice could be wildly different. Their defend dice could be wildly different because of how the dice faces look. <clears throat> Die faces? Anyway... 10 movement for a goblin, body points 1, attack dice 2, defend dice 1, whoops, what is happening? 1 mind point, no special. Orc is 8 with 1 body point and 2 mind points. Uh, he has 3 attack, 2 defend. I need to move these around apparently. Glad I can do that super easily. And then we'll just pop, get those columns realigned. There we go. That's much better. Famir has six movement, three attack, three defend, two body, three mind. Oh, that's so much better. You can use an app to have dice, but it's not the same as throwing it over a table. Yeah, I definitely want to have the physicals. I have. A few hundred wooden cubes that are almost the exact same size as the HeroQuest wooden dice. They have the same bevel. Um, I'm going to be painting those after I imprint the skull shield and black shield or a bunny of evil symbols onto them. Six, two, two, one, zero. Zombies. Five, two, three, one, zero. Mummies, four, three, four, two, zero. Chaos Warrior, seven, four, four, three, three. Gargoyle, six, four, five, three, four. The Chaos Sorcerer does not have <clears throat> any stats officially. Neither does the Archmage. But I'll probably... I don't know yet. I don't know what I'm going to do about the Archmage. The Archmage is going to continue to be used as a stand-in figurine. Bunny of Evil. I like it this way. The new one is an abomination. <laughs> yeah, it's less, it's less charming. That's for sure. It is less charming. Okay, the Skaven faction... I, I've got that on the right side, but I might think about moving it to the left side, and it depends on how many monsters I find that I want to add to this. Currently, there's a couple of monsters that I would like to add, but I'm out of room because of the way that I'm doing this. The monsters, 
<clears throat> that I want to add are like bugbear. I'm going to show you something. This is the Marvel Winter Special magazine. Okay. Inside of this magazine is this page, which I often quote. And this page says new monsters. Now, remember, keep in mind, this is this is European hero quest this is UK edition stuff. But it says several new monsters have recently been added to the hero quest game adapted from monsters in the games workshop advanced hero quest game and are available as citadel miniatures more are on their way next year in several new modules um so that was a lie but they did have of course their skaven their line of skaven trolls things like that and they wanted to say, how can we sell this to people who play Hero Quest? And that's how. You, you simply make a publication like this and you say, these monsters are now added to your game. And we'll have modules that have more. Uh, they didn't, but they did include stats for these four monsters. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it close enough for you to see in person. But you see the... They're uh, reversed as well. I apologize for that. The Skaven Warrior, the Rat Ogre, the White Seer, and the Troll. These all have specific names. Um, if you're going to look for them on eBay or you're trying to add these specific miniatures to your collection. <clears throat> the Rat Ogre that they show here is a 1987 Warhammer Rat Ogre. It's part of the C-22 line. It is... The name of the one that they show in the picture is Skull. No, it's Scar. S-K-A-R-R. -R. And you can find him on eBay right now. If you live in the U.S. and you search eBay, you're going to see listings for like $50 plus 20 shipping from the U.K. So he's not cheap by any stretch. But he is out there. Uh, the White Seer... Much, much more affordable. I got my White Seer for like 12 USD, but I did have to pay for shipping. The Troll? The Troll is going to be tough to get. I still haven't seen this exact edition of the Troll. Uh, I need to look a little bit harder for this same Troll. But I'm told by Leorlek from the Home of HeroQuest fans Discord that he looks like a hill troll, I think, or a rock troll. So I might substitute him for a different a different model. I don't want to do that, but I'm okay doing it in some cases. Uh, for example, the Skaven Warrior, he is not the model that I want to use. I want to use the actual Advanced Hero Quest Skaven models, and I have some duplicate models in my game uh, so that I could use them for my Hero Quest, because I, I want to keep my my Skaven with Advanced Hero Quest, so it's ready to play. But I also want those same Skaven models for my my expanded roleplay Hero Quest. So I'm I'm doing that. I'm I'm just ordering all kinds of different minis and Skaven and everything. So this is a Skaven Warrior, and uh, he can move twelve spaces according to his official stats in the magazine. He has two attack die, two defend die, one body, and one mind. Um, however, he does have special rules. And the special rules, which are too big to fit into a cell, so I have to add a comment in the spreadsheet program, is weapon... Whoa. Weapon slings. Uh, these allow you... Wow. Wow. To roll, oh my god, every word, every word. Roll one combat dice in attack. Slings are ranged weapons and can't be fired in the, at targets in the next square. 
but at targets further away. Um, slings are specialist weapons which may not be used by player characters. All right, there's my note for the Skaven. Uh, shipping over $15. Yes, yeah, UK to US shipping is rough. I don't know what it's like uh, other parts of the country to UK and vice versa. I wonder if that got worse after Brexit. David DuPont, I have the troll for Legend of Zagor. Yeah, Legend of Zagor minis look nice. I like how those look a lot. Uh, the troll has very simple stats. He can move six squares. He has three attack and four defend dice. But, oh god, that didn't work at all. Huh. Three attack. Four defend. Apparently only one body and one mind. We'll take a look at those, uh, compare them to the other UK monsters and see if, if that's redundant. I'm not going to let him keep one body, one mind, I'll change that, or I'll change something else. I really want to keep the move, attack, and defend, but I'll probably change his body points and update him to a U.S., a more U.S. type. But he's just a troll, so, I mean, you could you could, you could, could headcanon this any way you want. He's not like a heroic monster. He's just a troll, so, of course, he can get slayed. Uh, the Skaven Rat Ogre moves eight squares, has three attack and three defend dice, and has a body and mind of one and no special rules. I really want to change that because I see the Rat Ogres being more powerful than that. But we'll see. Finally, the Skaven Gray Seer. Wait, I'm going to shrink myself down again. There's no point staying that big. Skaven Gray Seer. He has some cool stats. He can move six squares. He attack and defend three dice, three dice, four body points. See, that makes no sense. The rat ogres are so much stronger than the seer, or they should be, but he has four body points. But then again, there's only supposed to be one gray seer. They're supposed to be very rare. Uh, he does have special notes. Yes, ha. Do you know the math formula you use in request GM software to evaluate difficulty. No, I do not. I would be interested to know it. Because I'm trying to come up with my own, to be perfectly honest with you, so that I can so that I can properly make these quests difficult according to just a convenient sliding scale of difficulty that I would invent based on the difficulty present in the main scenario. Uh We'll insert this comment. The White Seer, which I was calling him a Gray Seer, but he's a White Seer, so I need to change that, is an albino Skaven wizard who, with wild and unpredictable sorceress powers, derived from eating warpstone, uh, refined warpstone. He just snacks on rock. At the beginning of the evil wizard's turn, the white seer may take one spell at random from an elf or wizard in clear line of sight. He may use that spell card immediately or save it for later use. So this guy can pop up and just take your spells just for fun. Doesn't even have to use them. Sorceros. That's correct, you fool. All right, so there's the note for that guy. That concludes all of the special wizard 
or winter Marvel winter special magazine enemies I have in front of me the ogre stats so I'm going to type them out real quick the ogre warrior has six five five once again five five variable body and one mind the ogre chieftain can move four spaces attack with six defend with six variable and two mind the ogre champion moves six five five variable one mind and the ogre lord moves four six six variable and five mind so that's the uk against the ogre horde stats those are the ones i'm going to keep for that expansion copy the link i discovered it yesterday good awesome good work if you can share that link <laughs> i will be in your debt hmm i'm missing some cards i need to go grab my frozen horror and my wizards of morcar i'll be right back Did I see you copy it? No. I don't see a link in the chat. I think I've disallowed links, just in case anybody decided to be malicious. Um, yes, if you want to throw that in Discord, that would be awesome. Giant Wolf can move nine spaces. Six, three, five, one. The American Ogre seems to be based on none of these other ogres. Mm. It's 
difficult. It's difficult. I could put that ogre in, but I don't really want to because I've decided on using four unique per expansion. It doesn't really fit my agenda. Elven Archer. We'll do we'll just we'll just carry on like this for now. Four attack dice, two, three, two. Ah. One. It's one attack dice because they have a bow with four attack dice. The Archmage does not have stats. The Frozen Horror moves eight, has five, four, six, and four. He's not so tough. Elven Warrior, my cards are all out of order. Six, four, three, three, two. Polar War Bear, six, four, three, six, two. Um, he gets two attacks. You need to do it like that. The Yeti. The dreaded Yeti that everybody thinks is so broken. He does have five body points. He is pretty he is pretty tough. Hug attack. The ice gremlin. Ten, two, three, 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 and he does have an ability, and that of course is steal items. He will continue to be able to steal items in my version of the game. All right, that does it for those. Now I'm going to use the actual stats for the wizards in the Wizards of Morkar. Xanrath is the high mage. He moves five. So I'm using these as classes more like. So instead of Xanrath specifically, this is just a high mage. But um, I'm, I'm basically saying, yes, all high mages can move five. So we're using Xanrath as the class template for all high mages. It's true. Frozen Horror is not so powerful compared to the bear and yeti. Yeah, if you can get past all those bears and yetis, the frozen horror is just going to be a little scrap. Uh, five attack and defense, eight mind, four body, and it's going to be a yes on all of these because they all have their own spells. Okay, the Necromancer, Crypt of the Necromancer, six, four, six, seven, four, whoops. No, what are you doing? Stop that. Just use that one. Okay. He has all six Necromancer spells. It's a really, really deadly, deadly, deadly dungeon. I love that. Irie of the Storm Master. He can move seven. He has six, five, six, and four. And then the Shaman. Finally, the Shaman he has seven movement, five attack and defense, seven mind, and four body. And that concludes the work that I'm going to be able to get done on these guys today. So I'm going to save that. And actually, that's all the stats for the official monsters. So I've got a good baseline now. Uh, all of the beast men have their own stats in Mound of the Beast Men. I'm just going to lift those and use them with this expansion. H Quest Builder, welcome.
I know who you are. It's none other than the Squidge Monster. Everyone run. Welcome. Thank you for dropping into my stream. It's about over, but um, I, I did some work as I typically do on my homebrew roleplay system. And these are the monsters for my campaign. This is all subject to change. I'm pretty set on this list, but I'm having a lot of trouble finding Tomb Kings and Vampire Counts in the style that I like. I don't like that the Tomb Kings, most of them I find are just skeletons. Uh, but the skeletons with like the pharaoh sort of decoration and outfit, if I can get those and I can get them relatively economical without spending an arm and a leg, I want to do that. And I would love if they were plastic and not metal. And I'm going to get them and kit bash them onto Hero Quest classic bases. So I really need for them to look like that. Uh, the vampire count, I only see metal ones and I only see stuff that's like, it's just more skeletons. So I may not put vampire counts in this game. I might, I might think of some other way to do this. Uh, but I wanted vampires in Hero Quest, so I don't know. If I can find a very classy Citadel miniature of a vampire or a very similar style, but plastic, that I can kit bash onto a base. Let me know. I'd love to know. It doesn't even have to be a vampire vampire. It can be a bat creature. It can be a ghoul. It can be something that represents the nature of the vampire. The Tomb King, I just wanted them to be overpowered skeletons that had some sort of semblance of mind. The Draugr are from the Hero Quest novels, and I want them, and I've got figurines for them from Dragon Strike. I'm using the Death Knights for those guys. They look great. I think they fit the aesthetic very very well they're already on the exact same size bases so they're ready to use as is i just need to recolor them and i'll get to that later uh but the tomb king and vampire count i'm just not having any luck with the chaos factions here the touched by chaos as i call them i'll be able to use I'll get all of these guys i've already got the chaos archers from battle masters the bats spiders rats and trolls i have from dungeon denizens I'm going to think of some interesting stats for these guys that are not based on their corresponding elf mage. Uh, these need to be things that are just annoying. Things that can't defend, things that get squashed immediately, but things that have uh, problematic status effect inflictions they can make to your characters, things like that. But anyway, I'm out of time, so I gotta go. Uh, so back to chat mode real quick. Squidge was just stopping by. It looks impressive, Ash. Well, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. It's nice to see you. It's nice to see you in the stream. And I'm going to be using Hero Quest, H Quest Builder to make the quests for this 30 plus scenario campaign. It's going to be a huge help in doing what I want to do. It's going to facilitate every aspect of the quest building part of this campaign. So thank you very much for that that app, that program. It's awesome to have it. Um, of course, going to make that as easily distributable as I can. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow. Maybe not live. Uh, until then, bye for now.